What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We out here with some more more set. This time we checking out her song Rise Up, and I know a lot of people's been wanting me to do this song for a minute. I hope this is the right version. She did have a version that was on the bus, but I decided to go with the video version instead. So I hope you guys don't hate me too much. But anyways, uh, it looks like we got a, a Andre Day, and then uh, it's a cover of Third Avenue song Andre Day. I'm not sure who Andre Day is. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure who that is. Maybe it's a guy. I think it's this guy right here, but we're going to go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Oh. This must be Third Avenue. You're broken down and tired. Of living life on a merry-go-round You can find the fighter But I see it in you So we can walk it out mm -hmm. Ooh, Move mountains We can walk it out and move mountains And to rise up Okay, hold on before we even jump in so so I, I know i've heard this song before and one thing that stuck out to me about this song was that it's a very dynamic heavy song you know what i'm saying all the way down to the actual words now i love how those those those, those vocals started coming in man when they start rising bro that's when i start getting the goosebumps it kind of gives me a uh, vocative kind of feels you know when they come in with their with their rises and it, it, that i believe that's what cat cat that's what got vocal uh vocative they got they got those kind of they like the kings of just layering vocals and everything i got those vibes right here now the reason why i say it's about dynamics is because you know how this song and everybody knows everybody knows that when you start singing that chorus towards the end you got to come with the absolute energy but in order for that energy to hit as hard as it needs to you got to start off soft now here's the thing about starting off soft and i've said this in plenty of my other videos is that when you're singing under your breath and with such a dynamic heavy song like this everything's got to hit and you can hear when she says a thousand times again right that 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 word right there that times she just lands right on it and she's still able to give us that vibrato right there i'm telling you that takes immense and this amount of talent and not only is she singing under her breath but you know when she started doing those ooh, it's so easy like just try to do it right now try to do it it's so hard to to do that and remain and remain in tone like oh it's just, it's just difficult and i know because i tried to sing this song once in karaoke and i just sing in one level you know what i'm saying i ain't trying to and i can't blast out and i rise you know with amateur mistake but it was because i didn't know how to sing underneath my breath and still kind of give that full dynamic uh, uh performance like they're doing right here so those are the those are my first initial thoughts about what's going on in this performance For you. One more thing, if you're going to do a cover, you got to make it your own. And that last part that she did where she's like, you, and she thought that, that I'm telling you, that's what separates your cover from the rest. How are you going to make this different? And I love that rendition. Silence is quiet, and it feels like it's getting hard to breathe. Okay. And you know you feel like tired, but I promise we'll take the world to its feet. Again. For you, 
goes. That we have each other. Oh, we will rise, we will rise, we will rise. Oh, we will rise. And to rise up, rise like the day arises. It's better for you. And I'll do it a thousand times again. Arise up, arise like the day, and we'll rise up. We'll rise on a fright, but rise up, and we'll do it a thousand times again. We'll rise up, high like the waves, and we'll rise. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, man, I'm telling you, when you listen to Morissette, she's got that kind of voice to make you think like you singing. When you listening to it, you know what I'm saying? It almost feels like a crime to even take a breath while she's singing. Now, I am a shallow breather, right? I'll probably go for a couple of minutes without breathing. I don't know why I'm that way. I think it's because at one point my nose is like really stuffed up. So I've learned not to breathe as much because it, it annoyed me. Uh, but I'm capable of talking for a very for, for at least a decent amount without taking a breath. You know what I mean? <sighs> okay <clears throat> and every now and then i gotta take some breath but um that's what it made me feel like like i was just sitting here and i was holding my breath until she took a breath because that's just how captivating the performance was now uh one thing i wanted to point out right here um i think it was down here was just how the uh how the chorus section kind of took a step back right we still want to hear some chorus going on and you don't want to just hear mm, right and instead they kind of added in those do do now you didn't want to make it too busy right because morissette was already kind of singing not under her breath but singing pretty low and when you want the vocals to come through as much as possible you can't it can't you can't muddy it too much now of course once she started really blowing that's when the choruses started opening up a lot more to kind of create this amazing kind of sound space and then she's just absolutely killing it with them high notes i'm telling you when she just woo and all over the place bro she's just spilling out soul that's what i'm saying man she definitely type of thing i just want to go to church I'm telling you, she get out there and she just start singing up in some church but i'm telling you woo Boy, I'm telling you, she's gonna bring it down when she comes through it. Damn, <laughs> it was an amazing performance, man. I'm a, <clears throat> I think I have about maybe 10 or so uh reactions to Morissette. I'll go ahead and link my um playlist down in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing all my other reactions, especially the very first one uh, that I reacted to when I was absolutely floored by her voice because it was my first i think it was that uh a condom and i can't remember that was the first song i've ever heard her that made me i was like yo what is this voice and who is she and that's how we started this journey and i ain't never leaving it may take me a while to do some reactions to her music but i'm still here y'all <laughs> all right y'all y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out